What's up ghouls, it's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a beauty bay haul. I'm really, really excited. I've got quite a lot of goodies, so I'm really excited to show you guys what I got. Um, I am filming on my bed today. As you can see, it's so cozy. Um, that is because I'm tired, <laughs> um, that I'm like mega cash. I've just been to see my friend. We had lunch together and did a little bit of shopping. Um, so now I'm exhausted. It's really funny, we're both like, she's like mega anemic and I'm a little bit anemic. Um, and three hours shopping and it's just like, let's just go home. <laughs> like, too tired to continue. Um, yeah, so I thought that was quite funny. Um, so that's why my makeup and my outfit is like mega cash because I've just been like out chilling, not dressed up to do anything fancy. Um, before I start, my rings here that you can see are from Lovisa, I think that's how you say it, if they have like a website or whatever, I'll link it below, I don't know, I just went in store. My lipstick is Plan 9 Everlasting Liquid Lipstick from Kat Von D, it's only available on the US site, and my top jumper thing is from H&M a couple of years ago at Halloween. Um, also I tried a new foundation and contour situation, I hate the contour, um, but I like the foundation, so there's that. Also, sorry if it's kind of dark in here, I'm just using the natural light because I could not be bothered to set up my ring light, so there. Um, that lamp's really annoying me, it looks really shit. <laughs> Goodbye lamp, and I'm not refilming that intro. Okay, let's just get into it. So, so there's a couple of bits in here that are not mine. Um, me and Casey both ordered together. Casey's my little sister, if you don't know who that is. I'll link her channel below for you guys. Just definitely check her out. Um, yes, so we ordered things together because uh, Beauty Bay had a deal on over the Easter weekend where if you spend over a certain amount, you'd get a certain amount off. So the maximum one was if you spend over £120, you get 30% off. So basically, you save about 40 quid. So that's pretty good. So um, we teamed together to get the bits and pieces that we wanted. Um, I ended up spending way more than Casey, but that's fine. Um, so any bits that are Casey's, I'm gonna pop to one side because I'm sure she would wanna show hers in like a haul or something, and I don't wanna ruin that for her. Yeah, so let's just go right in. So the first thing I picked up here are the Dauntless Lashes from Oh, they all say Dauntless, <laughs> hold on. Uh, these are the Synthetic Mink Lashes and they are in the, they're called the Savage Lashes. So these are from LA Splash. I've never tried any of their lashes before, um, but they're pretty cheap. I think they're about £4.50. So I really wanted to try these. They are cruelty free, obviously. Um, yeah, I'm really, really excited. I think they, they look really good. I kind of just went for like the biggest, most dramatic lashes because you know, I'm a hoe. Um, the next ones I got are again in the Dauntless range and these are Snatched. Um, again, these were about £4.50. I'm really, really excited to try these. And then the last pair I got are in the shade Diva, or not the shade, they are called Diva Lash. So yeah, I love that. That background shows up on there, like it's mega holographic, but it's just white. I don't know what's happened there, but that's really fun. So yes, I'm excited to try all of these. If you guys have tried any of these, let me know down below. Let me know what you think. So the next few bits are still from LA Splash. Your girl can't get enough of them. Um, so I bought two of their Wickedly Divine liquid lipsticks. I did originally have four in my cart, but um, I wanted the shade Envy, but it sold out while it was in my car, and I'm mega salty about it because it was the nicest green, um, so I'll definitely be buying that at some point. So the first one I've got here is the shade Wrath. Can I just point out how sick this packaging is? Casey's going to be so gutted she didn't get one. She loves flames. That's so cool. I'm probably going to have to like keep the box for her. So yes, yeah, so this is the shade Wrath, so it's like a ready kind of colour. Um, I'll swatch it for you here. Ooh, ooh, that's it. I was thinking this was going to be a bright red, but it's not at all. It's more of like a... Oh, it's so dark. It's like a burgundy kind of colour. Um, I mean, it's still nice. It's just not the red that I thought it was. I was thinking it's going to be more like the red that's on like that gem. But never mind. Still cute. 
I guess that's the fun of buying things online, isn't it? Um, okay, the next one is the shade Evil Doer. Again, it's one of the Wickedly Divines. And I got the, uh, it is the black shade. That applicator is actually really cool. I'm really excited to see what these are like. So it's just a black liquid lipstick. I love um, getting black liquid lipsticks from all different brands so I can kind of compare and see like I might really like one formula. So, you know, I just like to see what's the best black liquid lipstick. I'll never be satisfied. <laughs> Okay, next up I have, again, LA Splash. It's one of their Lip Couture Waterproof Liquid Lipsticks. So originally I had one of these shade OG Ghoulish and I really, really loved it, but it um, it's drying up. It's got barely anything left. So I've, I couldn't find it on um, Beauty Bay. I don't know if it's discontinued or whatever, but it's not on there. So I bought the shade Cryptic, which is pretty close um, to OG Ghoulish. So I'm gonna swatch it now. I literally feel like it's the same shade. I don't know whether they've just renamed it, but it literally looks like the same shade. I would go and get it now, but again, I'm like way too lazy. So if you're interested in whether this is similar, a dupe, the same thing, whatever, um, I'll post a swatch on my Insta stories and save it for you so you'll be able to see. So next up, I got a few pieces from Sugar Pill. Um, I recently bought their, a couple of their single eyeshadows and I really like them so I thought I'd branch out and get a few more bits. So one of the first things I got was their loose eyeshadow. How cute is this packaging though? Like I mean we all know Sugar Pill's cute as fuck but I just love it. Okay so the first shade I got was Asylum so it's their red and I don't really use loose pigments but I thought that it would be fun to experiment with. So I'll try and show you guys there. I'm not pumpkins featuring in this video. Can you see? I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can see. So yeah, it's just like a, a red pigment. I'll try and swatch a little bit without making a mega mess all over my bed. Um, so it's got a bit of shimmer to it, which is really cool. So yeah, I thought they would be fun to play around with. It's kind of like a like a blood red, I guess. And then I got another one of those little pigments in the shade Lumi. So this is probably, like I always hear people talk about Lumi. And I bought it to kind of pop over like different liquid lipsticks just to add a bit more shimmer. I thought it'd be quite cool. Oh my God, this seems like nothing in this one compared to the other one. Um, so it's a white pigment with kind of bluey, it's very cool tone reflex. Um, can you even see that? Okay, I promise you I did swatch it, it's like here, I guess you just can't see it. But hopefully you can kind of see in the pot that it is a very light, shimmery, um, loose pigment. So again, I'm really excited to experiment with that. I think it'd be cool in like inner corners, um, brow bone highlights, stuff like that. So the next thing I've got here is a liquid lip colour from Sugar Pill. Again, the packaging is cute as hell. Um, I've never tried any of their liquid lipsticks, so I thought it would be really cool. Um, I got the shade Shiver, so it's a metallic. Um, and I don't really have anything like this in my collection besides Reverb, but I think it's different to Reverb, so it's okay. Um, so it's this really cool bright blue colour. If I move my hand, you can see the shimmers going on. Um, this is what it looks like. It's just so cute. I'm really happy to um, try out and see what I think of the formula. Um, just from one little swatch on my hand, it appears really, really pigmented. So that's really cool. Um, and I just love how small and cute they are. Because like the Kat Von D ones are quite long. Um, and they don't fit in my organiser. So they have to go just outside of it. Whereas this is very small. So it will fit in quite nicely. Okay, and the last thing I've got from Beauty Bay is from Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. I've never tried this stuff before, but again, I've always looked at it and always been really interested in it. Um, and I did have their big contour book in my car and I kept taking it out and putting it back in. And then I thought I would really just want it for the gray contour shade and I don't even really use gray contours anymore. So it would kind, it would be, a bit silly of me to spend like 40 quid on it um, to use one or two of the shades so I thought 
maybe if I get more into professional makeup then I would purchase it but for now um, I picked something else instead so I went for the mystifying mattifying high definition micro finish press powder so it looks like a planchette and then you can twist that and then there's the powder so it's just like a white or a translucent powder that you would use to set your makeup um, I've never tried it but I've heard good reviews and I just think the packaging is just so adorable that why would you not want it? It's so adorable. Definitely going to feature on my Instagram. How cute! So, oh and it's got like, oh it's an actual little mirror on there. Hello Blaze! Hello! So that is everything I got um, from Beauty Bay this time. I think the thing I'm probably most excited for is either the Lumi pigment or the Sugar Pill Shiver liquid lipstick. I think these are my two favourites. I'm really feeling like blue tones at the moment. I think they're really cool, they're really fun to play around with. So yeah, I'm really excited for these. I'm a little bit disappointed that I bought this shade um, of liquid lipstick because I really thought it was going to be like a bright red and I was really excited because I don't have any high-end, or not high-end, I don't have any really good um, bright red liquid lipsticks, I only have one from MUA which is okay um, and every time I'm at Kat Von D I think I'm gonna buy Santa Sangri today and then I think oh but that's really nice and that's really nice and I end up buying a million other things and not a nice red. <laughs> so yes I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, sorry if the lighting is really terrible, I just really could not be bothered <laughs> setting up my ring light, I apologise, I'm an awful YouTuber, I know, you don't have to tell me. <laughs> Um, let me know what you thought of this video down below and again if you have any video ideas then please let me know because um, I don't know, I would just like to make content that you guys would enjoy. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!